Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I am going to give you guys a quick introduction to the World Edit API. I'm going to show you how to take a uh, selection from a player and then actually use it to do something. In our example, we're going to make it so you can define define a cuboid. Um, in this case, it would be your spawn, and when you enter that area. Uh, it will say, you know, give you a welcome message. It's just a very, you know, simple example, but it, you can easily apply it to other things. So, of course, since we're using World Edit, you're going to need World Edit. You can grab it from Bucket Dev at the link in the description. And uh, let's go ahead over to Download, grab the latest version, which right now is World Edit 5.6, put it in the plugins folder of your server then you want to add it to your build path. If you don't know how to do this, do um, get info or command I. Uh, go to build path libraries, add external jars. You want to go to your server, plugins, and then take world edit and add it. And that will add world edit to the build path, and then you'll actually be able to access it, which is what we want to be able to do. So, First thing that we're going to do is we're going to write a method that will give us an instance of the world edit plugin. The world edit plugin, excuse me, is what's used. Uh, it's the class that world edit has, and it contains a bunch of useful methods. So we need to get an instance of it, and we're just going to write a method that does it so it's easily portable instead of just hard coding it uh, into the command. So we're going to go ahead and do public world edit plugin. We'll call it get world edit. Now you're going to go ahead and import that, and you'll see that world edit plugin is a class from uh, the world edit uh, plugin, I suppose. Then we're going to go ahead and say um, plugin p equals bucket dot get server dot get plugin manager dot get plugin world edit stylized like that. You're then going to say if p instance of world edit plugin. If it is a world, if it is a, in fact a plugin, uh, then we want to go ahead and say return world edit plugin p, where we need to cast, and then otherwise we're going to return null. So we're just um, getting the plugin called world edit. If it is the correct world edit plugin, and it's not like you know, another plugin named World Edit for whatever reason, then we want to return that. Otherwise, we want to return null. So if it returns null, it means pretty much that World Edit is not installed on the server. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, we have the welcome command, and it says set area, but we actually want to go ahead and um, get their selection. So we actually do need the um, if... Um, not sender instance of player um, sender dot send message dot color dot red and then we'll say the console cannot um, set up welcome and then of course we want to turn true and then player p equals player Type in too fast. Sender. All right. Import player, of course. Now um, we can go ahead and say um, get world edit dot, and you'll see that a ton of um, these uh, methods come up. Now, as you can tell, world edit plugin is actually um, derived from plugin or Java plugin to be more specific. So you have all of those methods, but you also have all of these other um, useful methods here as well. So one that we want to use is get selection for player, and we're going to give it p, and that returns type selection. So we're going to call it selection s equals, and then go ahead and import selection, which is another uh, world edit. Um, class. So if you do s dot, you'll see that there are um, a couple of useful methods. Um, get height, get length, get area, get maximum point, minimum point, um, stuff like that. Um, the important ones that you're going to want is um, get mi maximum point and get minimum point. 
if you were to save this to a configuration file, which we're not going to do here because um, this is just going to be a quick video, but if you wanted to save it to a configuration file, you would save the maximum and the minimum point from a uh, configuration file. And then you could load it later and have the maximum and the minimum. And you will see here that there is also a contains method, which is past a location, and um, it is returned if the uh, returns true if the location is in fact in there. Um, all right, let's give me one second. So one thing that you want to note is uh, in this example we're not actually using a configuration file, but if you were, uh, you could you would want to save the world that this is in and the two locations, um, and then if you wanted to reconstruct it, then you could do. Um, you would use cuboid selection, and we'll call it CS, is equal to new um, cuboid selection, and you would then give it um, world, location at 1, and location 2, or A and B. And it's going to give me errors because these variables are not defined, but if you do take a look at it, you'll see that it um, takes a world and two uh, locations. And that's how you can reconstruct it. And then from there, you can use the contains method. So um, I'm going to just comment that line out just so it can be there for you to see. Now, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to declare um, selection s up here and then set it right here because we're going to have a player move event. Um, and we want to be able to access the selection in the on command and the player move event. So um, now we're going to go ahead and say... Um, at event handler, public void on player move, and this is a player move event E. And we are then going to say, basically, remember, we're going to use s.contains and pass it the location. Now, um, we want to see if it contains the two locations. We're going to say if s.contains e.get2. But now, every time they move within that cuboid, it's going to send them the message. We want to say an exclamation point s, not escape js1, an exclamation point s dot contains e dot get from. So if the, um, so if the selection has the to location and it does not have the from location, so if they've just entered, then we want to do, um, e dot get player dot send message, um, green and we will say welcome now if you wanted to add a goodbye message when they leave you would just swap the exclamation point and say if it doesn't contain to but it does contain from then they would be leaving so that should be it we do actually need our on enable which I did not write yet alright not get player get Plugin manager dot register events this and this. So that should be all that we need. I also have the plugin dot yml uh, with the welcome command registered and all that basic stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and export this and then we can go ahead and give it a try. Note that I do um, already. Hang on one second. I do um, have World Edit installed in the server, so if you go to the testing server and look at plugins, you'll see that World Edit is there, and you're going to need World Edit, of course, in order to actually use this. So let's just make sure that it starts up correctly and that I didn't mistype something in the plugin.yml, and it looks good. So let's go ahead and start up Minecraft. All right. Let's go ahead and play. And we got the server running, and we can go ahead and join local host. All right, so now we are in, and as you can see, um, I do have world edit. Which, oh yes, oh, that was 
pretty stupid of me. As you'll see, every time you move, you get a null pointer exception because the selection is null. I'm surprised I didn't catch that and literally ashamed. But we just need to add if s is equal to null return, so we just want to stop it. I, I'm surprised that I did not catch that. Alright, so as you can see, we have um, the, the error went away, of course, and world edit is installed. Um, so, what is it? Pick axe or whatever. Um, I'll just grab, what is it? A wooden axe, I believe. And then let's grab some dirt. And I'm just going to make like a little. I'm by no means a builder, but I'm just going to create a little cuboid area so we can easily tell. So it's basically just going to be this area. And it will go from up there to down there. So let's go ahead and make our selection. And then we are going to say welcome. As you can see it says set area. And one thing I just realized is that we want to say if s is equal to null because if they didn't make a selection then we need to stop this or that would not really. We don't want them to think that they did it right. Make a selection. And then return true. So we just want to stop it there. And that should be out there. Now as you can see, uh, the plugin is working. So I set the area and if I enter into the area, you'll see it does in fact say welcome. Now I'm walking around in this area and it's not spamming me uh, welcome over and over again. It's only said it three times. Uh, I can leave and then like in a bit, if I enter again then you'll see that it does say welcome. The area again is from up there to that corner so entering the area does uh, say welcome. So it does work. That is all for this video. Um, I know that this was a this has been requested for a while, so I'm glad I finally got around to doing it. Um, this is just grabbing the selection from a player. Um, you know, this is useful in, you know, plots and managing plots. Uh, maybe arenas, you want to check if an event happens in a certain place for, like, games. I know some games work like that. And, uh, uh, you know, there are plenty of other uses you can find, like, this little... Uh, welcome spawn idea, which could also be achieved with World Guard. As always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, please click the like button, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.